Hello, hello, welcome good people. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. Take for, thanks for taking time to view things from the PEV point of view. Um, today, so we have an update on my EUC supercharging setup. So the last video I put out was a 70 mile group ride and in reality that ride wasn't 70 miles, it was actually 106 miles because we went and rode basically all day, all night. Um, and at the end of that, my back was so, so sore from my backpack with this heavy ass charger I've been rocking. So I knew that uh, a smaller charger upgrade would be in my future. And that's exactly what I have here today. So today I'm gonna go over my current uh, Roger charger, oh, I guess not Roger charger, go over my current hypercharger setup um, and talk about some of the changes that I'll be making for the 2024 riding season. So let's get right into it. So this is what I used on my last video. This is the Alien Rides hypercharger and the Roger EV adapter. So let's get these out. And actually, if you really want to be specific, this is also technically what they call the Dawn Champion case. I don't know about that. It's off of uh, Amazon, but she introduced it to the world. So respect to Dawn, uh, although it was $30, pretty pricey. But anyway, this is the Alien Rides Harp Hyper Charger. As you can see, it is good for 110 volt standard wall outlet or 220, 240 volt um, being an EV charging station and it auto adjusts. Um, it says don't charge above 18, uh, 15 amps, but I'm pretty sure that this charger can do 18, um, depending on the voltage of your wheel. Maybe if you're on a 100 volt wheel or lower, you might be able to do that on an EV outlet. But really, um, there's not really too many downsides with this charger, except its weight. This thing is a brick. This thing is super heavy, I'm not gonna lie. If I had to guess, it's probably like, four and a half five pounds if not a little bit more um and yeah just the, the the sheer size of it just killed my back on that ride so it comes with um several different adapters i actually had to buy these on aliexpress um but it's good for 134 volt i think this is 126 volt or 100 volt and then this is 126 and then you got 84 right here um, so yeah, it's got everything you need all in one small, you know, not really small package. It's confined, but it is very heavy. So that's all good. Everything is good over here except the weight. Um, the EV adapter, Roger EV adapter. This thing is amazing. In the video, you saw us do like 40 something amps uh, across this thing. I've seen videos on Telegram of it being used up to 55 amps and, um, but I don't know, it might be able to do more than that, but just geez, like the fact that you can charge three wheels at once is uh, definitely a game changer when it comes to group rides. So uh, really good review on this. And it's also very affordable. I mean, 60, 60 something dollars for this plus shipping. It might've been around 70. Um, and yeah, Roger has introduced this to us or at least made it mainstream and popular popular and widely available so this is the old this is my 2022 2023 riding setup this has been you know i've had this for some years now this is rather new to me but we're getting rid of all of that not really we're keeping it but we're on to the new school i'm sure you guys have been seeing the new wave of chargers coming out the huawei based units and that's exactly what i have today um, it's getting a little windy so hopefully you can still hear me but that's exactly what i have today i have a huawei 4830 um, and before you even say anything ignore my ugly ass stickers i know it's hideous i got a little bored with uh <laughs> i got a little bored with some leftover stickers and just went to town so this unit is very very small super compact um and i I haven't really tested it to its full capacity yet. I just got it yesterday. Haven't been able to use it on a supercharger. So uh, at the end of this video, I'll probably be demonstrating its use um, on an EV supercharger, but that won't be right here right now. Um, but this charger is a little bit different from this one. This one, as you can see, zero through 140 volts, um, meaning it can charge 
84 volt wheels, 100 volt wheels, 126, um, 134.4. That's all that can handle. This one is the new age. This is 120 to 170 volts. And um, the weight was really what drew me to this, but there also are some additional um, benefits to it. It is um, one of those smart chargers, so it does have a, an app that you can connect to. Uh, I haven't quite figured it out just yet, but I do know it is an option um, if you're persistent enough. So I want to talk about the charging cable a little bit. So I was super excited when I saw this. This thing is seven feet. Look at this. Look at that. XT90, I think, to XT60. I don't really know those terminologies, but damn, charging cable is enormous. Um, and they have a little bit different system than this one. This one has individual cables, whereas this charger system, see if I can pull it out for you, has these sorts of dongles, if you will, um, that you, see if I can get a good angle, dongles that you just simply snap on right here. So bam, four pins is 134 volts. Um, now the only downside that I've seen so far on this charger is that it only came with one uh, pin. The Roger charger actually comes with a splitter to be able to come, you know, uh, attach two of these. So um, probably later on today when I, oh don't lose that, let me grab that. Probably later on today when I actually charge my wheel using the supercharger, I'll likely just end up connecting this XT60 or whatever it is to my old charging cord. That way I still have um, two outlets. And just so you know, if, if you're pushing more than like maybe seven, eight volts or amps rather, wow, it's windy. If you're pushing more than seven or eight volts, amps, damn. So if you're pushing more than seven or eight amps, you're gonna wanna use two um, charging cable. So uh, for the time being, until I can source one of those splitters that Rogers so, uh, ch charging cables come with, I'll have to just um, connect my XT whatever to my old charging cord so I still have two power outlets. So additionally, um, going back into its compact size, one another difference from this old style of charger um, is that this power cable is permanently affixed. It is uh, not removable and that, as you can see, kind of hinders its compact size. Whereas this completely detaches um, all power outlets, which is nice because as you can see, it's super, super small and compact and just fits right in. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about before I cut to the EV charging station is this EV adapter. So you see the Roger EV adapter is quite long. It's, you know, over a foot. Um, and it does have a really awesome benefit of having three outlets. Uh, but truthfully, the ride yesterday where you saw, saw me charging three wheels at, at once, that was the only time I've really used that option. So in reality, the most times I'm just charging by myself. So I decided to pick up this super compact, small EV adapter. So this is a J, same as this one, 1772 or something like that, I don't know, to a universal EU and US standard outlet, which is super convenient. I don't know how, well, you know, what the max amps are, but I'm sure it'll be just fine. Um, but just wanted to show you all how compact this charger can get. So this whole package um, came from a guy named Tim on Facebook for an amazing price of $310. So this was $310, this was $25, both of those include shipping. So I paid $335 for a Huawei 4830 charger, um, smart charger with the cords, with the, with the dongles, with the power cord, with the EV adapter, all for 335 Now, um, there are, are other more pricier alternatives on the market and probably those will have better support, um, but I went with the cheapest option available to me and that's okay. 
So lastly, I just want to show you, oh, so additionally, this um, came with a charging case and it's super, super small, but I did just discover if I combine this charger, all my cords with my old case, it becomes super, super compact. So watch this. So I'm taking my old charger, need two hands. Oh. So I'm taking my old charger, dropping that in, take the EV adapter, drop that in, take my power cord, fit that right there, take my charging cables, Take my charging cables, stick those right here. And now I have um, my EV adapter, my hypercharger, my power cord, my charging cable, and all the dongles I have, I need for any single wheel, all right here. And I can close it up, watch this, so. Bam. You see this? One package, EV adapter, hypercharger, every charging cable I'll ever need. All this right here. Now, isn't that neat? All right, ladies and gentlemen, this has been um, some of the updates I'm doing for my 2024 riding season when it comes to my electric unicycle superchargers. Um, I'm gonna be demonstrating the Huawei 4830 charger um, later today, so stay tuned for that and I'll do a proper sign out there. So, thanks. Alrighty guys, so we are here beneath the Chicago Stock Exchange, borrowing their parking lot because they have these free EV charging stations. So I'm gonna, charge, I'm gonna show you uh, how I get set up EV charging with this new hypercharger, uh, the Huawei 4830. So first off, you have your little app um, I'm blocking my name, but you connect that guy right there. It processes all your details. This uh, specific charger is free for the first two hours. And I mean, 15 amps, 16 amps, two hours. It's a lot for a wheel. So usually I'm good to go rather quickly. So let's uh, stick the camera inside the wheel real quick. Hope you guys got a good view. Oh, but anyway, we got this J1772 outlet. You got the J1772 adapter. Um, Want to align it the correct way. Bam, now I have an EU and US standard outlet. Uh, the charger just turned on. So I'm going to actually plug in my charger first. I don't know if that's really necessary, but it just feels like the right thing to do. Um, so, all right, so we got the charger plugged in. We don't need a lot of range because it's right here and we have a seven foot cord. So I'm just gonna leave it all coiled up um, and then bam, just like that. So um, there is an app that you can download as I mentioned previously. I don't even have the app. Um, so I'm just kind of kind of wing it. But anyway, you probably can't see too well, but you got 126.6 volts and you got eight amps. Um, I'm not sure why it says 127, even though I have, oh, I have it set at 126.6. Um, I don't even know if that's right or not, but anyway, uh, let's get the amperage up. So we have it at eight amps. We want it at like 15, let's try 15 amps. All right, bam, we're set at 15 amps. So the only thing that's left to happen is to plug in the cable. And just for your convenience, I went ahead and already plugged in both of the charging ports because it takes freaking forever to do it um, on the patent and I, I struggle with it. So did it ahead of time for your convenience. Let's get this charger going. And as you can see, the wheel just booted up um, and we have it at 15 amps. So this is one thing I was confused about. I have it set at 15 amps, but the actual amperage output is 16.58. So which one is it? And if you see down here, you have this 1800 number and that's basically the wattage. This charger is a 2500 watt hour um, maximum battery and it's a simple 
simple division or multiplication you can do to figure that out. So 1,888 divided by um, 126.6 is going to be the actual amperage that's coming out. So you do that math. Tell me what it is. Is it 15 even or is that 16.5? I don't know. Um, but anyway, we are now pushing officially 16 amps. Uh, I'm going to let this go and see how long it takes to charge up to full. This is really my first time testing out um, both this single outlet EV adapter and my new hypercharger, um, which I got to say, super, super small, very compact. I'm loving the form and it's been good. All right, guys, so we are officially pushing 16 and a half amps here at the EV charging station. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much for tuning in to this video. This has been the story of me, um, you know, upgrading or downsizing my EV supercharger setup for the 2024 riding season. Um, and make sure to stay tuned to my channel. I definitely have a lot more reviews um, coming forward. Got a really good helmet that I love. Got shred lights I could talk about. And I know you saw them hanging out in the background. We got the Bobble Bee backpack. Um, that review is coming up first, the Bobble Bee review. And I will say, I'm not as big a fan as most other people who own this backpack. So I'll leave it there. Uh, full review to come. Uh, but want to sign out for this one and say thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you taking time. Um, to view life from the PEV point of view. Thanks so much. Take care. Have a good rest of your day. All right.